everyone, Rita here. So I was watering my plants today at the shop and I realized that we've been getting a lot of people asking about the plants that we have in the store. So I thought I would have a bit of a chat with you about what we've got in here and why. So um, it was probably about 18 months ago that I became crazy obsessed with using plants or getting into plants. And my first number one tip for you is if you think that you're gonna kill plants, and maybe you consider yourself a brown thumb or whatever that is, start really slow because I was looking for a distraction for something that was going on and I totally immersed myself in it and bought all the plants and it was very stressful and I didn't know how to look after them and they died and I got stressed and I thought I couldn't grow plants. So I want to give you um, a few tips on how to look after them that I've learnt since becoming a little bit not as plant obsessed as I used to be. I don't have time for it. Um, I've learned to keep to plants that I actually like and not follow. You can get into plant groups. This is what happened to me. And <laughs> you feel like you need all the plants that everybody loves. And I got some that I didn't like. And so I didn't learn how to look after them. And they died because I didn't care about them. And I thought they were ugly, but I bought them because everybody else said to buy them. So I was just like this sheep following everyone. Anyway, I want to show you um, the ones that we have in the store. So particularly two that are probably my favorite because I've got them at home too. And I love how they look. My biggest, I love ones that um, plants that kind of trail and um, like vining type of plants. So you can see this is a philodendron. This is a, um, this is just the plain green one. You don't need to know all the full names of them. You just need to know what they are so you can understand how to look after them. All the plants that I have in here, just checking, have the same care needs. And that means that when I'm in here, I don't have to go, well, this one needs this and this one needs that and this and this. I've got, I think there's, I've got some mother-in-law's tongue, a monstera, and the rest are philodendron and um, pothos, which are these ones here. So, hey everyone. So I just wanted to show you, give you a couple of tips and give you some warnings as well, because I went to Buddings and I found this one here. Look, this is another, this is called a philodendron Brazil. And this is my absolute favorite because it gets this really lovely. This is called variegation when you've got different colors on the, um, the leaves. So it'll have a lighter color. So this, these, I'm going to tell you about this one first. Okay. I went into Bunnings and this is absolutely like, I love this plant. There's a woman called, I don't remember her name, but she has plant arena on YouTube and she has this plant in, it's just amazing. You hold it up and it looks like this massive wave of these leaves and it's amazing and beautiful. And I have plant envy and I want that. So anyway, getting back to that, <laughs> I went into Bunnings and I saw these, I actually grabbed two of them and two of these philodendrons and I brought them back here and unfortunately they seem to have brought in some gnats into the store which are I know they're little tiny they look like fruit flies but they're not they're really annoying and if you don't get on top of them they will drive you insane we had this issue at the last shop and I got through it so I want to give you a little tip with that so I've just noticed a few of them flying around so first thing is what I've done I'll show you up here so next to all of the plants, you might see a little bowl here. Inside that bowl is some water. And in that water is about four drops of peppermint oil, four or five drops of peppermint essential oil. And I don't know why it works. Someone gave the tip that it works. It does. It seems they get attracted to it somehow and then they die. I don't know. I can't tell you why. It just worked for us. The reason the gnats actually come in the plants is the plants um, if you keep your soil too wet so this is quite it's not too bad I think it might have um, been only a few but these plants here these are my pothos and these were cuttings that I did at home grew the roots and because I grew them in water actually I know what it is it's the soil it's the potting soil that I used at home because yeah anyway moving on because the soil has had to be kept uh, damper for these than what it normally is, the gnats have kind of come alive because they like wet soil. So they like really damp soil. So I don't know, you're not going to be able to see it. There's some that are crawling around in here. It's driving me insane. Funny story. You might see some come up. I don't know. 
there's a few there's not heaps at the moment and I'm pretty sure it's actually from the potting mix so what you need to do and it's hard at the here yeah, I can see them everywhere it's like they're mm. it's really funny when your husband hates bugs <laughs> and they're flying around everywhere at the last store and he hated it and I'm like I have to get rid of the gnats now or he's not gonna let me have plants in here and I'm gonna cry there's one Anyway, so what you do is you make sure that the plant's um, soil actually gets a chance to dry out because the gnats need the moisture. That's what they're attracted to. That's why I believe the peppermint in the water helps them because they're attracted to the water. I don't actually know I'm making that up, but that's what I think. So <laughs> make sure you dry out your plants. And there's actually another tip with that too because the biggest thing that people do to kill their plants is they overwater them. And I did this too. I'm like, oh, they look like they're they need a drink and so I'd sometimes you would um, just give them a little bit because they looked like they had too much or you'd give them too much the best tip that I can also give you is see how my plants I've potted these into one of these ugly um, plastic pots that you'll get at the nursery and then I've kept I've actually got it in two pots here because we just got these really gorgeous pots in today and I love them and I didn't want to sell them all, but I'm just hiding my pot in here. So if someone wants to buy it, I can take that plant out and keep it in another pot. What you don't want to do is these pots, the pretty pots, don't have a hole in the bottom, okay? They don't have a drainage hole. So what happens is when you water your plants, the moisture stays in the, in the, the soil and you get what's called root rot and your plants will die. So that's the number one way of killing your plants. People overwater them. The moisture isn't, the wet water isn't actually able to drain out. So that's what these are for. It's to drain all that water out. So what I do when I need to water my plants is actually sit them under the, the tap or the hose or the watering can, whatever it is. These bugs are really annoying. <laughs> They're going to be, I'm going to kill them. Um, sit them under the tap and I actually water them so that the water drains all the way through because you want them to get a good a wetting and some people will just give them a little bit they'll just give them a little bit of water and what happens is the plants dry out they don't actually get the the water that they need and the roots stay at the top here so you want your roots to kind of go right down to the bottom these ones have just been grown in water like this so if you're not sure about the soil thing these particular I've actually got three different types of pothos in here so we've got that is your um golden pothos so you can see the little golden um variegation on here i love these because they seriously are the easiest plants to look after i love them and they have this lovely dra droop drooping draping <laughs> trailing <laughs> look to them you can either have them going up and they'll climb or you can have them uh, trailing down we've also got the marble pothos which is this one here another variegation and then this is the neon pothos underneath here because these all have the same type of uh, water requirements and growing requirements I can have the different varieties of the same plant in the same pot and when they come up we'll kind of have this variety on they grow we'll have this variety of different leaf foliage it's going to look really pretty so what what I did with those ones to grow them is just like here so you just get some water and then this is that one hasn't got any roots yet so there's one in here that started to grow roots this is actually a Monstera adonisi, I think that's how you say it, uh, Swiss, Swiss cheese plant. So in here, these are very similar. So they start to get these water roots. And when they're about this long, if you're wanting to put them into soil, it's about the time, about an inch long, that you want to put them into soil and they'll start to grow. You just need to give them chance to adjust to not being just in water. I'm not sure whether any of these have got, I've only just put these other ones in. This one here, you probably won't be able to see it. It's just got the start, so there we go, just got the start of a root on the bottom here. So to do this, when you have the, the plant, a leaf will grow on, see this little thing here, this is called a node. All you need to do is cut on either side of that and make sure that the node goes into the water. So at the moment, I've got these really long ones and I've got a few nodes in here. These will probably rot off here and possibly this one just all oh, there's gnats in the water <coughs> excuse me i need a peppermint bead but i'm getting a dry throat <coughs> anyway that is one way that you can um, grow some roots and then your philodendron you can actually do this really simply too with these and the philodendron i need to get a drink hold on <coughs> so 
So same thing with your philodendrons, is you cut, so you've got this node here where the leaf is, just on either side there, and then you'll just put this section of the plant into the ground. So just that section into the, the soil here. I'm getting a dry throat, sorry. I'm excited talking about plants. And they can root straight into the water. <coughs> so that's just another little way that you can grow them. They are seriously the easiest plants to grow. And I'll show you what they can look like. <coughs> oh man, this always happens when I do lives. So this one here, you can see that it's grown up, but then it will also start to trail down too. And anywhere that you cut off your, your leaves, um, your little nodes, there's all got nodes on them, that will actually sprout out new growth on it. I'm trying to show you, sprout out, see if I can find one that I've cut. So it actually forces the plant to start growing in different areas, but you can see how beautiful they can look. And when they grow up, the leaves get bigger as well. So I don't think I can show you any there, but I like to <laughs> cut them. And the problem is when you love plants and you know how to propagate them in water, so that means grow your roots in water, you can cut stuff off your plants <laughs> and you're then like, oh, look, I can get free plants out of all of this. And you end up with lots and lots and lots of plants. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to show you a few of them that are really, really simple. Um, to look after these guys, all of them, the philodendron and the pothos, they want to be dry completely in the, the soil before you water them. If you water them and keep them wet, unless except for these ones that are just transferring from being water roots, if you keep that soil moist, you'll get root rot. So you need to make sure they're actually dry and it's it, like it literally gets bone dry and then I'll wet them full through and then leave them until they get bone dry again. I actually, um, I have some plants that I'll, as soon as it rains outside, they all go outside so they get the water on their leaves too. I don't really <coughs> spritz the ones that are in here, but you can, you can mist them because these are tropical plants too. I'm getting a really irritated throat. Anyway, <coughs> I hope that has kind of helped. I don't know whether I, I showed you the Brazil, my favorite one. I'm probably going to end up taking, I don't like this little plastic yucky thing. I'll probably take it off this and allow the plant to trail down. Um, same with this one. Because I think that for me, I just love like the trailing look. And when you come into the shop, you'll see that's what I do. I've got the same out the front. I've got some lovely sun tolerant plants that kind of trail down too. So hopefully you got some good tips with that. I'm going to go play with my plants. Bye. <laughs>